Yo, so it looks like 2026 is going to be one of those years where uh, they just update DAWs and stuff. We're not getting a lot of keyboard updates or refreshes. So it looks like we're going to be getting some DAW and software features. And it looks as though Logic uh, Pro is updating to uh, its latest version. Uh, I, know it's gonna be, I don't know if this is going to be like Logic Pro 12 or this is going to be like 11 point whatever on here it literally just says logic pro it doesn't say logic pro 12 or anything like this so and it's not out i just tech checked the the app store so it's not uh, out on the app store so you can't get in there but i'm assuming that it's going to come out when this creator studio thing drops because i just did a video on that and that's going to drop on uh the 28th of this month so you'll get a chance to do that so that's kind of interesting uh to see that or what have you uh, and then let's see if there's anything new. Uh, I was scrolling down through here to try to see if I can find anything new because like all of the stuff on the page, this is all the same. That is all the same. Um, all of the stuff that they have in here that's normally in there, the step sequencer, the, you know, the drum synth, all of those things are the same uh, plugins and stuff that we've had for a while. Uh, they're getting the sound library in here. Uh, effects. Yeah, we've seen all of this stuff, third party plugins and then um, all of the, you know, all of that stuff. But I think what's new from what I've seen, because all of this is the same mixing assistant. This is the uh, the chord, you know, detection. You got the chord detection. You got the pitch correction. You got all of those things. Chroma glow. Uh, we've had all of those, but they're adding in this new uh session player from what i could tell the synth player so this is interesting i'm really interested to play with this to see because they have the the piano player the electric player and the, you know the bass player and all the strings and all of those stuff like that uh but uh this synth player is new so i'm interested to see what this is like and how complex or how interesting or intricate is going to be able to be as it relates to like um as it relates to like a track, like, can this be your aux player? You know, it's going to be interesting to see what they, what they're going to be able to do with that. Uh, other than that, I didn't really see anything else that's new uh, with this. Everything else is all the same. And then there's this, uh, they, they talk about main stage. They seem to have updated the logo, but it actually looks the same. So when you click this, it pops up and it looks like the same old main stage and scrolling through here, you don't really get a, sit, get a sense that there's anything actually new with this. It's all the same main stage that has been for the last, like almost pretty much decade uh, that it's been there. They haven't changed that. Um, I'm a, only thing I can assume is that maybe they're going to include it with Logic. That could be cool if you get that or what have you. Uh, but everything else, there's no new mixing plugins that, that I can see. There's none of that. Everything is all the same here. Uh, and it's going to be a part of Creator Studio, which is a subscription. But I believe that you can still buy it outright. You know what I mean? You're not losing anything when it comes to that. You're still going to be able to buy Logic and own Logic. And I think if you're an existing user, you're not going to have to like upgrade and all of a sudden have to pay uh, or the subscription per month for Logic. Uh, so this that's kind of cool and that's interesting. But, um, you know, they said get Logic Pro right here. How much? They talk about the subscription and they talk about, you know, that you can actually still buy it. Uh, so uh, they don't really say anything in here that like, oh, you know, if you're an existing user, you know, you're going to have to upgrade. You're going to get on the subscription or anything like that. It's not on the question and answer set, but it remains to be seen. Again, I believe this is gonna be out on the 28th. That's my guess because I just checked the app store. Like right now it's not in there, but maybe, you know, maybe if you guys are seeing it, maybe it could be the operating system I'm on. I am like, I'm not on Tahoe, I'm the one before it. So it's possible maybe that's the case, I don't know. But we'll see uh, what happens. And I'm interested to get my hands on this and kind of see what we can do with these new features. But I don't know, I'm excited about this. I'm not excited as excited about Studio One because you know they changed up on me, they switched up and got brand new, but I am excited about this with Logic. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. I look forward to interacting with you guys down there. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, check out other content that we got on this channel. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out. Holla at your boy.